sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new here, welcome. If you have been here before, you might recognize the quilt behind me. We did this quilt block recently, the King's Cross, and I finished my quilt top, so I'm very excited about that. I added a green border to make it just a little bit bigger and frame the quilt itself. So in the future, I might be talking about how I'm going to quilt it. I'm thinking about using a Baptist fan design, which I haven't used before, so watch for that. Today we're going to be making a really simple, another simple Christmas ornament, an angel. So I'm going to take you step by step through how to make this easy ornament and you'll hang it on your tree or give it away to a friend. Let's get started. This is what you'll need for your little angel. There's a pattern that you can download down in the description if you would like a pattern. It's just a simple shape. You'll need batting for the inside of the angel. I'm using cotton fabric for the body. And then for the wings and the legs, I tea dyed some felt, some white felt that I had. You might already have the right color cream, but I didn't have any, so I tea dyed some white. I'm using some embroidery floss with green and this sort of brownish gold with the wings on the back. And then I have a variety of some laces over there that I want to put on top, like this. And then I had some wider flat lace that I put on the bottom of that. This, I just used stitches with my machine with some gold stitching to make it look more interesting. So that's all you're going to need for the little angel. First I'm going to start by taking my pattern and using that for my batting. This will be the inside of the angel. Once I have that cut out, I'll use this as my pattern on my fabric. And what I want to do here is I want to add a seam allowance. I, I don't want the batting inside my seam. So I have this two layers of this white fabric or cream and I want um, some excess down here. This is where I'll be turning under the edge. And then I will cut away about between a quarter and a half inch from the edge of my batting here. And I'll cut all the way in there so that when we turn it right side out, it won't pucker. So I'll just use my scissor all the way to the neck area there and then go back out away a, a quarter to a half an inch and all the way down. After cutting out the front and the back of my angel I'm going to set the backing aside so I just have one layer. I have the batting and I want to add a little lace to the front using my white thread. And I also want to add some gold lines like this one. So I have gold thread in my machine, something like this. So I will do some lines that are at an angle that cross each other. And I prefer not um, lining them up, but just doing them 
improvisationally. There's a few lines right there. Now it's time to put our angel together. So I'm going to put the back onto the front, right sides together, turn it over, and as you can see, we have a seam allowance here. So I'm going to sew all the way around the angel. Here's our angel. I have sewn across the bottom edge with some white thread. I had to switch out the gold thread and put some white in so that it blended in. And now I want to add this sort of green wreath to the top of the head. So I have my green thread. And what I've done is I'm using six strands and I leave kind of a long tail because it's easier for me to tie knots. And I just go through and cut it off. And I'm going to do that a few times. You could do this one at a time too if you want, but I will be tying some knots across the top and then trimming the knots so that the ends are all pretty much the same length. The last thing that we need to do for the angel is to attach the wings and I'm taking some embroidery floss in sort of a gold brown color and I am going to hide the knot behind the wings and just make a simple X and I might do another one. So I'm going inside the angel but not to the front. And then I will put a knot right here. I could hide the knot inside the angel, but I don't think we're going to see the knot with the wings right there. So I can put a knot right there. And that's it. You have a simple little angel for Christmas. Add a tie for the top to hang it with with some more embroidery floss, and you're ready to go. Thanks for joining me.